Yo, yo. How you guys doing? Let's hope we got a patch for Tank Grail. Awesome. Man, first of all, happy April Fools. Um, I was thinking about doing a, like a tweet thing and all, you know, all, the, all the whole April Fools thing. But um, I, oh my God. Oh my Lord, I'm losing my mind. This is not, this is not an April Fools thing. So I wait six months to get this spa. Then they're doing work outside of my house. So I have to wait an additional three months to get it delivered. I get it delivered. The guy spends five and a half hours hooking up the power yesterday. I spend the rest of the day filling up the spa, getting it all working. I flip the breaker. It doesn't turn on. It's dead. And I'm just like, This is like, there's a handful of these spas on the East Coast. This is like one of, one of a single digit amount of number of these spas on the East Coast. I was so excited for this. And it's dead. So now I have to like deal with all that stuff and figure all that out. And I should observe my Discord on stream. Oh Lord, hold on. What did this man do to my Discord? Hold on. Oh no. Oh God. The the berry lition? Oh my Jesus. It's it's the berry 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 lition. Berifications. Berry carline. Berry scribers. Berry clips. Berry events. Berry support. Berry discussion. Berry deals and games. Non game berries. A berry. Oh, I like that one. That's a good one. Uh, berry May, Fighting Berries, MOBA Berry, War Berry. Oh man, let's look at the main channel. Read here first. Verifications. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, this is, this is a lot of berry. Praise berries. That's a lot of berry. That is phenomenal. Berry. I love it. Let's just, let's just leave it like this. We'll just leave it like that moving forward, I think. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Yep. Uh, oh my god, what is this weird thing? Okay. Anyway, that is amazing. Welcome to the berry Lition. Welcome to the berry Lition. I love it. Wait, every single person is berry? Hold on. No way. Ah! <laughs> We've all been renamed to Barry. <laughs> and it's just moderated by all of Barry. Barry, Barry everything. Barry, 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 Barry. That's fantastic. Welcome to uh, Top Streamer Barry Carnage's channel. Where's the kitty? He's eating breakfast. Mm-hmm. Uh, whoa. That's weird. What happened to my performance? Maybe it's loading. Huh. I don't remember that being kind of framey. It feels a little framey now. I definitely don't remember that from yesterday. Maybe it was a little framey yesterday. Was it a little framey yesterday? Yeah, luckily I'm I'm currently in the con in in the It's the weekend, of course, so we gotta get this all figured out. But I'm currently in the process of contacting the electrician and see if I can get uh, another one from their company to come out and verify everything was fine. Yeah. The dude that hooked it up was great, and he took a long time doing it. I, I can't imagine it's wrong, but you know, it's sometimes always good to get a second pair of eyes on it. Oh, that's a thing. Wow. Apparently gravity is a wow. I, that was like, I thought I maybe would have twisted an ankle from that. Ooh. Oh my Lord. That was rough. I 
Let's try again. I'm starting to think gravity's only here to keep us down. I think you might be right. All right. I... <laughs> there we go. Okay, I thought I was stuck for a second. Okay. We have a better... I thought we had a better weapon. We have an axe now. Let's pull that out. see what we got around here. We haven't really talked to anyone down here yet. Just that doofus by the wall on the left. Uh, I'm Caden. And you? Hmm. You don't look like a capable archer, my friend. Well, I'd rather you didn't come any closer to our shooting range or the bows. Yeah, that's fair. Is that how you encourage people to train? We have all the archers we need. So I don't encourage anyone to train. Especially after what happened the last time. Oh, God. Um, what happened last time? Me and the two other boys were sent to help Mark, a hunter. We were supposed to hunt a weird beast that was roaming the area. It must have come out of Grubwood. I was tracking the bastard when suddenly I saw stars. I thought I was done for. It turns out I got an arrow right in the ass, shot by the kid who was walking with Mark. Oh. Since that time, no one could use a bow in the keep unless they get my permission. Well, you still can't sit down properly. You're the instructor here? Yeah, you could say that. I'm the best arch after Mark. And after that incident, the quartermaster ordered me to train the boys. We can't afford potential casualties if some nutter or out-of-control kid gets his hands on a ranged weapon. My butt will be the last instance of collateral damage. That's fair. What about swords and axes? A keeper without a sword. <laughs> Good enough for the kitchen, but nothing more. Not that I have anything against Wark. He's a pretty decent cook. <laughs> uh, all right, Barry. <laughs> you can turn off the sponsor lot, buddy. Oh, my lord, dude. <laughs> oh, jeez. I thought, I thought the Discord was, uh... Okay. Okay. Huh. <laughs> sure they were. The keepers sometimes get passes so they can have some fun in the tavern. <laughs> One time, they came back, completely sloshed, and organized a shooting contest. Arrows were flying everywhere. They even hit the captain's horse. And that's why the captain doesn't have a horse anymore. Whoops. Crash Hunter, how are you, bud? What happened to the word beast? Ma got it in the end. It was a massive son of a bitch. A deer, overgrown and turned inside out. Vicious as hell. Thoroughly messed up, I'm telling you. Worse and worse monsters are coming out of that damn grubwood. It's a Ice truly cursed place. A complete mess. I don't recommend you ever go there. With the one If you don't get months. eaten by a monster, you'll drown in a swamp. Thank you. And it just gets worse by the day. The keepers used to patrol the area near the forest. But now it'd be just a waste of men. No problem. Your hands are shaking, your fingers are crooked, and you're a bit cross-eyed. That's all bad. Wow. But the fact that you're not even aware of any of it is even more alarming. Wow. It also means that archery is definitely not for you. I bet you couldn't hit the target from this distance, my friend. Okay. Well, we're kind of a mess. I think all that. Oh, you're an outsider. Thank you, the Rook. May I ask you, you something? Uh, sure. Have you passed by Blood Lake? It's the pond with red tinted water near the East Gate. Back in the day, the bodies of people sentenced to death hey, used to be dumped there. I think so. There were some undead nearby, right? You know, blackened corpses walking around slowly and making guttural sounds. I mean, I'm sure they're still there. They wouldn't just disappear. They've been roaming around that place for a long time now. Eh, yeah, I'm an idiot. What's the matter? It's stupid. 
We were drinking with the lads and the booze went straight to me head. I started to brag about how I'd go to the Blood Lake and kill all those undead. One Pretty word dead. led to another, and I ended up betting Dan some gold that I'd Damn. do it and bring their teeth back as proof. Uh -oh. I thought that when he sobered off, he wouldn't remember a thing. But no, I don't care about the money, but they'll be making fun of me for months. Uh, I can help you? And I'll say it was all my them. doing. Would you really do this for me? How much do you want? What are you having to help you out? Well, I don't have much, so it will be a fair price. And he'll get it back when I win the bet. It's a... <laughs> yes, I didn't record that line. That's great. Uh, welcome. Uh, in the name of our eternally reigning majesty, King Arthur, and the knights of the round table, uh, I am obliged to inform you that fighting those who actively break the law and reject the rule of the crown is the duty and pride of every subject. As uh, Camelot's representative, I will be paying a bounty of ten gold pieces for the uh, death of each bandit roving the area as long as adequate proof Thank you, Trash Hunter. Provided. Appreciate your five bomb, buddy. Branded skin. You're representative of Camelot? That's correct. My name is Cillian. I was sent here from the capital to see how the Horns of the South are handling the bandit problem, and also to encourage the Keepers to fight. Okay, if Camelot knows about the bandits, why didn't they send the army? Uh, the situation with the Pict and Delrita savages is precarious. Too bad we can't get rid of them as easily as we did the Druids. Ow. There have also been rumors that we might soon have a civil war on our hands, so Camelot cannot afford to spread our forces too thin. There. What's the situation with the tribes? There are rumors that the Rita tribes want to unite, and that would mean open war with Camelot. As for those Pict savages, they've been growing bold, leaving their forest. For now, it's just been small scrimmages. But who knows how it'll end. A civil war? I don't really have much more to tell. It's hard to get any updates here. I only know that the new Lancelot has not been very popular, and that's putting it mildly. The Witch Morgane would have been burnt at the stake long ago if everyone weren't so afraid of her. And then we have the commoners who seem to keep forgetting their place, and loudly demanding changes. Everything is falling apart. What happened with the druids? Well, you've probably heard about the druids making human sacrifices by stuffing people into wicker puppets and setting them on fire. Oh. Well, the people decided to give them a taste of their own medicine. They rounded them all up and then sent them up in smoke. Oh, how they must have howled and sizzled. Uh, too bad I couldn't see it. Oh. They were killed because they were making human sacrifices? Yep, made human sacrifices, prayed to the dark gods, brought the weirdness back. Bunch of bastards. Good thing they're worm food now. Were all the druids killed? Uh, most of them. The survivors have supposedly taken refuge with savages in the woods. And one of them is rumored to be hiding in the Horns area. But whether that was before or after the charred conclave, I don't know. Would you like to hear about him? Yes? His name was Slardyard. He was lurking near Blood Lake, a small pond where they used to throw the bodies of executed convicts. They say he would fish them out and use his magic to turn them into undead monsters. Supposedly, he started needing some fresher corpses, so he slaughtered one of the keepers. Yeah, would you like to hear more? The Horns organized a manhunt. They found him and sentenced him to death. People say that the moment his body touched the surface of Blood Lake, the water turned red and it's been scarlet since that day. Some say that Slardiag came back from the dead and seeks revenge. But if you ask me, it's just a tale by oh. local simpletons. How many people have been claiming bounties? Uh, none so far. The keepers don't want to risk being turned into pin cushions for a mere ten gold pieces. Besides, the captain banned them from good leaving show. the horns of the south without a good reason. Too many bandits and not enough keepers. Pal has style. Thank you very much for the five bomb, buddy. I appreciate it. Must be boring for you. Oh, you have no idea. When I heard they were sending me south to the Here's fairy bud. place that's crawling with bandits and barbarians from the tribes, I imagine I'd be a little closer to the action, you know? Fighting, gushing blood, screams, and such like. I thought the veterans would be showing me their scars and stumps and telling me tales of how they lost their eyes, ears, and limbs. Or even better, how they were ripping open throats and bellies. Instead, the only this stories guy. I hear are when those fools break their own legs when they get drunk and fall off the walls.
If you're listening, if you like listening about fighting so much, why aren't you a warrior? I could be, but many hey, people can swing a sword, but only a few have as sharp and bright a mind as I do. Oh my. It's just that some people were made for fighting, while others are destined for greater things. Besides, watching and listening gives me enough satisfaction without needing to risk my life. Blood, scars, and stumps, those are your fantasies? Yeah, I've been like this since I was a child. The moment an execution is over, I'm waiting for the next one. And there are quite a lot of them in Camelot. And I like to watch Ramum punish the servants with a whipping. It's just how I am. Okay, what if nobody claims the bounties and bandits room freely? He's so upbeat about this. Well, Camelot would send a group of knights with Sir Galahad at the head. And he's not interested in half measures. He'd probably burn down half the garrison. Or hang them. He's done both. By the way, did you know that people who are hanged rarely die from strangulation? Neck break. Usually the sudden yeah. jolt causes the backbone to snap which separates the head from the body. A while ago, I saw someone hanging in the village, and it's true. One snap, and it's done. Sounds like a force to be reckoned with. No matter what you say about him, he's very efficient. Brutal, even by my standards, but efficient. The fact about the hanging was quite interesting. Do you have any other tidbits like that? Tidbits. Oh, sure, plenty. Did you know that apparently, if you cut off someone's head, they don't die straight away? but remain conscious for a few moments. Anything else? Well, if someone dies in a damp, closed-off space, sometimes, but very rarely, their body creates a thin layer of wax on the surface of the skin. Really? Anything else? Hmm. I heard that a body decomposes in water four times faster than on land. Anything else? I need to think. If I remember anything, I'll let you know. Okay. Oh, hey, before you go... I can see the blood loss in your eyes, you know. It takes one to know one. So here's some friendly advice, free of charge. If you're seeking scum to slay, you'll find bandits near the local mania. It's worth visiting if you haven't already. They keep close to it because it protects them from the weirdness, the undead and other monsters. Well, it won't protect them from you. Air. <laughs> yeah, what a nice guy, right? Nice guy. Hi. All mother's tits. I've just about had it with this bunch of repressed virgins. And who might you be? You don't look like one of them. You seem angry. Oh, do I now? You would be too if you had to deal with those sniveling morons when they're up to something. Don't look at me like that. You don't get as far in life as I have if you can't smell bullshit from a mile away. Oh my. There's something fishy going on here, but I'll get to the bottom of it. And here's a brilliant idea. You're going to help me. Oh, okay. Am I? I just need you to go to Brandon and find out why that slime ball is pretending not to know I'm here. Tell him I'm waiting with his delivery. Although I'm pretty sure he knows this already. Who's Brandon? You don't know? He's the captain of this entire circus. I thought since they let you in, you must okay. have had an in with them. Hey, Ashri. But it turns out you know even less than I do. There's something going on, you know? They don't want anybody to know, but I can feel it. I've been doing business with the captain for years now. Then, suddenly, I find myself stuck here. They won't let me further in, not even to set up camp in the village. But they won't let me out, either. Anyway, good luck to you. Come and visit if you need anything. Is there something else I can help you with? You do realize you won't score any points with the Keepers by helping me, right? Those holier-than-thou soldier boys have no idea what it takes to be a merchant in this sorry world. The things we have to do sometimes aren't exactly done according to the rule book. I'm interested. There's a woman from the tribes called Nest. She's my supplier. At least, I think she's still working for me. I haven't heard from her in a while. And she was supposed to bring me some really precious cargo. Something the captain wanted me to... arrange. 
You still up for an adventure, hmm? Yes. What's, uh, where can I find her? My guess, and it's only a guess, is that at some point she must have been somewhere around the bay. That beach near the whale's tooth. Or, as it's more aptly named, somewhere around Smuggler's Bay. Fair. She must have been there, but after that, who knows? All right. Good luck. And don't worry, I'll pay. Thanks, Whether Adrian, she's dead or alive, just let me know what happened. And bring back the cargo, if she still has it. Okay. Uh. Oh. Flame resin. Spine breaker. Ignores enemies block. Inflicts confusion. Weapon relic. Huh. I wonder if there's an alchemy table around here somewhere. I need to make some more pots. Good show. Kyle with another five bomb. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate you, bud. Thank you for your support. Second gift bomb of the day there. Thank you, thank you. All right. All this is empty. Let's snag those onions. Gotta get that butter. Alright, so we got a couple of quests we can do in this area. Man, there's so much stuff here. Like, this is this is crazy. We've only been to like this area. Uh-oh, we haven't even been over here. What's this area? Let's go through the castle proper and see what's going on there. Did we talked to everyone down here? I think so. What's in here? You going here? Yes, we can. My carry weight got boosted from last night. Yeah, it did. Cool. It's a lot of wine. I'll take all of it. Oh. Oh, we don't have a lot of this. A pot, nice. The more health pots, the better at this point. is Doombringer? What's a two hand? Try that. Hell yeah. Worn war pick. Health pot. All these soldiers are going to die because I'm stealing all their health pots. For the record. Also, it looked like all those locks are the exact same... <laughs> the exact same place. Sweet spot. I am all for that. <laughs> Please continue to... Yeah, mass-produced locks. That's right. Uh, yeah, we need to see if we can find an alchemy bench. Play this game fist only? Good luck. Is there a hand-to-hand -hand skill? Didn't notice if there was. Yeah, there's an unarmed skill. Oh, that's cool. You can do like a monk playthrough. Ooh, 
Where are you, one of those? Let's go up here. Cool. Uh, Kyle, I'm not sure what that is. What would that be, friendo? It's for the Island Asylum. We have that one. Here we go. Oh. Dang. I can't make any uh, health pots? Should we read everything just in case there's uh, any blueprints or stuff we can get? Yoink. We need to see if we can find a cooking pot. Or maybe a cooking pot outside. Another health potion. Nice. Oh, the triumphant sound. Oh, this one. There you go, bud. Yeah, buddy. Woo. There's that one. Then there's this one. That was good, too. Hey, Chinchilla. Hey, Timon. What's that, guys? Oh, I hate being sick. Okay, who is this guy? Can I talk to him? Hi. Mandrake root, parsley, and a pig's heart? How is this supposed to make any sense? How can it even work? Oh, sorry, do I know you? I'm terrible with faces. Either way, glad to make your acquaintance. I'm Jan Heber. A physician raised in Camelot and trained in the Royal Academy. That I can help you with? Why would you, though? Don't you have better things to do? Nope. Well, if you're not in the mood for sharing, then I won't ask. You might have more success getting people to trust you with their personal matters if you were a little bit more forthcoming, you know? I'm trying to get into the Quartermaster's good books. Aha, got it. So, you're up for work, not out of the goodness of your heart, but as long as it gets you what you need. Yes. That'd be a good summary. Understood. It's a good reason. Well, I'd say it's better than most. But all right, if you're a mercenary, then I do have a job for someone who'd be willing to risk their life in exchange for material goods. Okay, I will need more details. Back at the Academy, I found an ancient scroll written by the Druids. Forbidden knowledge, especially now, after the mob forced them all into a wicker man and burned every last one of them to ash. I finally deciphered it a little while ago. It describes a ritual that needs to be performed at night within a stone circle. And guess what? There's one in the nearby forest. I guess you already know what I need you to do, hmm? What's the purpose of this ritual? That is an excellent question. But... I don't know. From what I've been able to decipher, it's a summoning spell to bring something or someone to our world. That being will share its great knowledge with the one brave enough to summon it. I need you to remember what it says and repeat it to me after you're back, word for word. Okay. Um... Isn't your fascination with druids illegal? In Camelot, maybe, but this far south, nobody cares. 
I've spent my entire life digging through scrolls and books in pursuit of their knowledge. I've been reading about their rites and the descriptions of their rituals. Look, I'm sure they were onto something. They knew much more than we do, but it feels like there's a veil wrapped tightly around that knowledge. It's like I need to find the right spell, the right ritual, something that will unwrap it for me. What are you doing here? Healing diseases, sometimes cutting people open. Oh, and pulling out teeth seems to be a leading cause of concern for everyone around here. Me pulling teeth in the arse end of the world? My friends back in Camelot would laugh their brains out. Huh. Looks like you need some sleep. I don't dream about anything anymore, so sleep feels like a waste of precious time. That's Fortunately, a back in Camelot, I found a mix of remedies that can keep me awake for a whole week. It was quite popular in our study group. Here's share the recipe? Oh no, every physician needs his secrets. But I can sell you some if you promise not to tell any of the higher-ups. Oh. Okay, why wouldn't you want the leadership to know? There are... side effects. You won't fall asleep for a while, but the moment you do, well... You'll feel like you died and came back to life, only to die again. So you either take the next dose or endure it. I can endure it because I don't have a post to attend to. But our brave soldiers, well, that'd be risky. 